Okay, this is section 12.4 continued. Let's look at theorem 8. It says the acceleration can be written this way. Or calling it, uh, I guess you, you read this as the tangential acceleration times our unit tangent vector times our normal acceleration times our principal unit normal vector where we're defining our tangential acceleration as the change in speed and the uh, normal acceleration as the magnitude, so the speed pretty much, times the magnitude of t prime of t, capital T prime of t. So we need to prove this. It's actually going to be, uh, the proof will involve the product rule, product rule you'll see. So let's look at the proof. Let's first note that the acceleration is, to, is by definition, it's the derivative of the velocity. And the velocity is the derivative of the position, r is the position, position function here. Okay, uh, next thing. So next recall how our unit tangent vector, or capital T, was defined. It was uh, r prime over the magnitude of r prime. But now r prime is the velocity and the magnitude of uh, r prime would be the magnitude of uh, our velocity, which would be our speed, so we can replace those here. Okay, so again, I just replace the r prime with the velocity and the magnitude of r prime with magnitude of velocity. Okay, so uh, from here we can solve for r of t uh, by multiplying both sides by the speed. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to multiply both sides by our speed to solve for our velocity. So doing that, multiplying both sides by speed, you'd have then speed times capital T equals our velocity. Okay, now we're going to take derivative with respect to T on both sides. So taking derivative on both sides then, uh, so you'll, on this side you'll have uh, our velocity, derivative of velocity. And then using product rule here, be derivative of first will be derivative of the speed, which I have denoted by d over dt of speed times my capital T, or my unit tangent vector, and then times the speed uh, multiplied by derivative of second, which would be capital T prime. Okay, so it's the product rule there. Okay, uh, next we can note that the derivative of the velocity is acceleration. So I'm going to write that here. I can say this acceleration equals this. So acceleration equals uh, derivative of velocity equals this. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to show that this product rule part uh, ends up being what we're trying to show up here. Okay, so let's keep going. So next recall that our principal, norma, uh, principal unit normal vector, or capital N, uh, is equal to derivative of capital T divided by magnitude of capital T prime. We can then solve this for capital T prime by multiplying both sides by the magnitude. So doing that, we get, so we get this then. So all I did is multiply both sides by the magnitude of capital T prime on both sides. And I got this. We can then substitute, substitute this now in place of capital T prime up here. So this is going to go in place of capital T prime up here. So let's make that substitution. So making the substitution in this guy up here, I wrote down here, we'll have our acceleration equals this. And pretty much that's what we're trying to show. We just need to realize we have everything we need here. If you look up here, our A uh, subscript capital T was defined this way and that's exactly what we have here. So let me note that. Okay, so this first part here, the change in speed is just the acceleration, tangential uh, acceleration, and then if you look at this guy here, if you go up to the top, see how it's defined here, my acceleration in the normal direction Define this way. So that's exactly what we have right here. So let me denote that. Okay, so this part here is the acceleration in normal direction. And pretty much that's what we're trying to show then. So we're done with the proof. So we're done.
Okay, we're done. So uh, let me draw a picture to kind of demonstrate what we've shown here. Okay, so here's a way to visualize what we just proved here. So suppose you attach a tennis ball to the end of a rope. So say here's the tennis ball here, and say you're standing in the middle here, and you start to swing the rope around in a circle. So you're swinging around here a tennis ball. Uh, so if you swing the rope, say you start swinging it faster and faster, you would have acceleration in the tangential direction and acceleration in the normal direction. So let me first draw in the unit tangent vector and the unit normal vector. Okay, so I've drawn them in here. Uh, so again, uh, they're perpendicular to each other because we proved that when you dot them, you get zero. That means the angle between them is 90 degrees. Now let's draw in the acceleration and the tangential acceleration and the normal acceleration. You'd have this, you'd have your uh, tangential acceleration in the same direction as your uh, unit tangent vector or, or capital T, and our acceleration normal direction will be along the n vector. If you're swinging a tennis ball around at a constant speed, then the tangential acceleration would be zero. Okay, but you'd always have uh, acceleration in normal direction as you're going around here in a circle you'd always have a, a force pushing, outward, uh, pushing you outwards. You can just imagine if you cut the rope at any point, the ball would fly out that way. That's because there's acceleration that way. Okay, so that's the idea. So again, if the tennis ball was swung faster and faster, you'd have acceleration uh, along this direction, but you'd always have acceleration along that way. Okay, so that's the idea. So you can see the acceleration then is basically the sum of these two. So pretty much you can write it here. Okay, so we have this. So that's the idea. Okay, so we're done with theorem 8 then. So let's leave it here. So we're done with section 12.4 also.